A long-awaited trial of a man accused of killing a Stillwater teen during a tubing outing on the Apple River in 2022 began today with graphic cell phone video painting a chaotic and very bloody scene. 54-year-old Nikolai Miu is on trial for first-degree intentional murder and four counts of attempted homicide. But the Prior Lake man says his actions were all in self-defense. Fox 9's Courtney Godfrey was following the trial today, and she joins us with the latest on that. Courtney? Yeah, hi, Randy. With the start of this trial today, we are finally getting a glimpse at what may have led to this tragedy. Nicole Mew's attorney saying he was being heckled and threatened, outnumbered 13 to 1. But the prosecution says none of those actions warranted him stabbing five people and killing a teenager. With cell phone video of the deadly altercation taking center stage today. Never before seen video shows the chaos on the Apple River. Moments after 17 year old Isaac Schumann is killed and four others stabbed. The video was presented as evidence today in the trial of Nikolai Miu, the 54 year old Prior Lake man claiming he acted in self defense. Nick Miu standing in the river with 13 strangers. 13 drunk, angry strangers. But the prosecution paints it as a senseless act of violence that could have been avoided had Mew simply walked away. You'll not hear anyone in the video threaten Nikolai. You'll not see anyone raising fists to him before it turns physical. You won't see anyone besides Nikolai with a weapon. Miu was allegedly using a snorkel and goggles to search the river for a friend's lost cell phone when a group of high schoolers started to question his motives and call him names. When another group of tubers comes over to intervene, things turn physical. Miu pulling out a pocket knife. One of Schumann's friends who witnessed the stabbing was the first to take the stand. Did you hear Isaac Schumann um, threaten Mr. Miu in any fashion? No. The teen facing questions from both sides. You could have walked away, right? Yeah. You didn't walk away either, did you? No. As to where Mew got the knife, his attorney claims his friend asked him to bring it that day to cut the string they used to tie the tubes together. The prosecution highlighting that during initial police interviews, Mew denied that the knife was his. Randy? All right, Courtney, thank you.